Hello Capricorn, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. Now we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Capricorn, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. The overall energy between the two of you at this time, we have the King of Wands. Their current feelings for you, we have the Four of Wands. Ooh, there's still, there's still quite the spark here, Capricorn. Still a lot of attraction. It's magnetic, okay? It's magnetic here. Four of Wands for their feelings. In, the Four of Wands can be, you know, stepping into a new chapter. It can be you know, reaching a goal, a finish line. Like, it's like, this is what they want, okay? They want you. I'm just going to put it out there, Capricorn. They want you. And there's a very uh, kind of a seductive energy about it. I, there's all these roses just here, like, on this card. And when I saw them, I was, I instantly got this image of, uh, like, a bed with rose petals on it. Um, like, someone's, Someone wants you, Capricorn. Okay, someone wants you. And it's magnetic. It's intense. Their intentions towards you. We are the Five of Cups. Somebody's having some regrets here. And, you know, as far as intentions go, I feel like somebody... I'm feeling a couple things. I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like this is somebody that you guys are not with. This is somebody that you guys are in separation with. Okay, and or at least just things have been rocky with at the very least. Okay, and they know that this person, they know that they have hurt you here. They know that they have disappointed you, that they have let, it, let you down. I do feel like as far as intentions go, somebody either wants to come out of this energy, right? They're wanting to come back towards you. They're wanting to have a space back into your life so they don't have to continue to feel this way without you. I also feel as far as regrets go, it's like somebody wants a chance to make things right. What is their next actions and behaviors towards Capricorn? We have the Emperor wanting to bring some stability back to this connection, wanting to get the situation under control. It's like they want to they want to work on things. They feel like things are very unstable between the two of you, especially if you guys are in separation. It's like they're wanting to bring this back together and start to build a new foundation here between the two of you. It's like they're feeling like you're slipping away. They're feeling like they're losing you here. And it's like, how can I, how can I get them back in? Their potential outcome here between the two of you, we have the strength card. So you guys definitely have this 11-11 thing going on here because you have the four wands, which you can see kind of looks like the 11-11. And then you have the 11 of the strength card too. Sagittarius also has the 11-11 energy coming up. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart. The bottom of the deck, you have the five of pentacles. So you have two fives here. I feel like you've definitely been going through some challenges with this person to put it mildly here. Somebody is worried, Okay. They are worried that they're losing you for good. Somebody is having a lot of regrets. They are missing you. They are feeling lost and lonely without you. They have this Ace of Cups right under that. So I feel like somebody is really in their feelings and they want this new opportunity with you. They have a Two of Cups right under that. So, And together that Ace and Two make the Three. So somebody definitely wants to reconcile with you. Um, yeah, a lot, big time. So let's go ahead. We are going to clarify this all and get more information, but I do want to grab some additional messages first. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? What other messages do we have for Capricorn here? I don't react when people mention you. So this, 
you may be you may be very surprised to hear this because I feel like somebody puts on a very like they put on a good show they put on a facade that they're fine that they're over this but you know inside they're feeling like this you were the best thing in my life A song, what is that? I can't think of what it's called, but there's a song. When I keep looking at that, I don't react when people mention you. But it's a song like, um, you know, Nobody Knows It But Me. I'm sure you guys have all heard it, but it's like, you know, nobody knows that they're still upset, that they're still heartbroken, that they're still crying about the situation. And too busy winning. So, yeah, they could either wonder if you're too busy winning. They could see you doing really well. Or they could they could be portraying that about themselves. Like I said, I feel like this person puts on a good show. They have this wish come true energy here. So, I do. I feel like reconciling with you is a wish come true. It's like that's what they want here. They still feel so much. And like I said, I feel like they're going to try to pull all, all the stops. I'm literally seeing a bed with roses on it. Like, this person wants you. Okay? They want you, Capricorn. They want you back. All right, the signs that I'm seeing here, you got you got all the fire signs. So Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. You have Scorpio here, Aries here. You got Leo again here. You have Taurus as well. Those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. Tell me about this King of Wands energy. Why is that here? The High Priestess. And the Nine of Cups. Yeah, like they are keeping things to themselves. You got Pisces energy, the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups is both Pisces energy as well. So you guys could have Pisces energy here. Yeah, somebody's wishing, just wishing for an opportunity to show you how they're really feeling here. Tell me about this Four of Wands. You got the Judgment card. Somebody's made a decision about what they want. They want to reconcile. The Judgment card can talk about reconciliation, resurrecting something that was thought to be lost. It can talk about renewal. Um, it's like a wake-up call energy as well. A call to action. They're feeling that here. Tell me about this Five of Cups. We have the Empress. They see you really highly. Like, this person sees you... Like, they have you on a pedestal, even if they've never expressed this to you. Like, even if this person has a hard time saying, like, they are looking back at you and how you treated them and the connection, and they just see you in a really positive light, okay? Um, to me, this feels like nobody compares to you. Tell me about this Empress ener or this Emperor energy. So you have the Empress, the Emperor and the Empress here as well, Divine Counterparts. That's how they're seeing you and this connection. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Oh, we got this Five of Pentacles here with this Emperor energy. Yeah, they don't want to continue to feel like this. So it's like wanting to get the situation under control. They feel like you're slipping away. They feel like they've lost you. And they don't want to stay like this. Tell me about this Strength card. Why is that here? We got the Justice card in the reverse. Trying to find the courage because they know that they've, they've done you wrong in the past. They're feeling like things are not fair. You have the lover's card here. You know, they still feel such a strong connection to you. They're hoping that that connection is going to be enough. They're hoping that the bond that you guys share, the love that you guys have, is going to be enough for you to give them another chance. I don't know, Capricorn. I think this person has really hurt you in the past. I feel like they have really done you. Some of you guys, they've done you really dirty here. So that's up to you. Only you guys get to decide what's best for you. But this is what I'm seeing for you guys. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, all you have to do is put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below. And I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and supporting me. And I will see you soon.